How desperate are you? In 2 Kings chapter 7, there were four lepers. If you know anything about leprosy, lepers had to live outside of the city gate so they would not spread the leprosy because leprosy was very contagious. So the city of the city that they were living in, I can't remember which one it was. Read 2 Kings chapter 7. The city was under attack by the Syrians. They had blocked off the city so that no food can get in or nobody can get out. Um, yeah, they cut off the food supply from what I understand. Correct me if I'm wrong. So the four lepers were outside of the city gate and they were starving. And they said, you know what? We're dying anyway. Why don't we just go to the enemy's camp? And see if they have any food. <laughs> that takes a lot of guts, okay? That I mean, who thinks of that kind of stuff? I don't know who the brilliant person was in the group, but they were like, what's the difference? Either they're going to capture us and feed us, or they'll capture us and kill us, or whatever. It doesn't matter, but it doesn't make any sense for us to sit here and starve to death with everybody in this city. So they stepped out on faith and went to Syria. When they got to Syria, there was nobody there. God sent a noise and caused the Syrians to flee the city. So here was a city with all this food and riches, houses, tents, clothes, everything they needed. They just wanted a meal. They got a whole city. That's the kind of God you serve. That's the kind of God we serve. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20 says, Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that works in us. But guess what? You have to step out on faith. These four lepers stepped out on faith and God didn't give them just a meal. They got a whole city. They went from tent to tent. They ate food. They ate good. Then they gathered up the riches. They hid a batch of it. Then they came back and got some more. And they said, you know what? We need to tell the king or it's not going to go well for us. So they went and sent a message to the king that the city is sitting here. The Syrians left and took and they just left the whole city full of full of food, full of everything. So the king told everybody, and they just plundered the city. They just plundered it. But these lepers, they got what they needed. They got more. They got an abundant supply of what they needed from not just days to come, but probably for years to come. Because remember, they were just outside the city begging. So the question is, are you desperate enough to get off your butt and do something you've never done before? And guess what? Your blessing may not be with the people who like you the most. Your blessing may be in the enemy's camp. You understand? Your blessing, your provision may be in the enemy's camp. I don't mean those people that you think should have been doing well by you. No, uh-uh. It may be in an industry where you got put out. It may be on a job. It may be you just don't know. You don't know where this is, but you got a feeling. There's some place where you're just so desperate. You're like, look, I'm just going to go there and see what's there for me. You got to step out on faith, though. These guys had a lot of guts, but sometimes you have to get in a position where there's nowhere to go but up. Where it's either you're going to do it or you're going to die. Like the widow of Zarephath. She said, um, me and my son, we're going to eat this, our last meal, and then we're going to die. And Elijah said, make me a cake first, and then your meal will never run out. And so she was like, well, what have I got to lose? I'm going to die anyway. <laughs> So maybe you're on the verge of death, financial death, um, housing death. You know, maybe you're about to lose your place. Maybe you're about to lose your marriage. 
you have nothing to lose. I mean, it's a shame that you had to get to the point where you have nothing to lose. But if you're there, you're in a perfect spot for God to come through and deliver you. Let me tell you, you are in the perfect position. So step out on faith. And if this word has been a blessing to you, I want you to email me at breakingcurses101 at gmail.com. Many of you all want provision, but you have been sowing into the wrong places. You've been putting your money in dead ministries. Nobody's getting healed. Nobody's getting delivered. Everybody's broke except the pastor and his staff because they're taking all your offering money and they're buying up these houses and cars. <laughs> I mean, it'd be one thing if everybody in the church was getting blessed, but that's not the case, is it? No. So you have been putting your money, your offering money into bad ground. And that's that helped you get into position, the, the position that you're in right now. So if you want to change things around, You're going to have to get up and do something you've never done before. Sow a seed in a place where you've never sowed one before. Now, what seed did the lepers sow? They got up and they moved. Okay. And then they told the king about it. So guess what? I believe they got favor because they told the king. Four lepers telling the king, I don't think these guys ever lack for anything else again maybe they couldn't come into the city gates but i'm sure they got abundant provision from the king who looked out for them because they looked out for the king okay god is setting you up he is going to give you exceeding abundantly above all that you ask or think but you have to do something you've never done before so i want you to email me at breakingcurses101 at gmail.com that you can also send a donation to that address on PayPal, breakingcurses101 at gmail.com. I expect abundant provision, exceeding abundant provision for you in Jesus' name.